Well, my name is Miho, as you know. Um, thank you for being here again. And today's theme is integrity. So, um, yeah, focusing on, you know, last week we were, our theme was finding balance and integrity is, it's like same thing, but as a whole. So I'm focusing on how can we integrate as a whole, as a human being and into the practice as well. So, yeah. And do you, if you have any request, um, you can type it on chat. If you have any, if you don't, it's all great. Seems like no request. All right, so let's get started. Um, when you're ready, finding your comfortable seat, either cross leg, kneeling, anything that makes you find nice long spine. Relaxing your shoulders. Finding your breath in your body. Moving into Ujjayi breathing, constricting the back of your throat and creating an oceanic sound. What if you're fogging the mirror in front of you without opening your mouth? And taking a moment to set an intention for today's practice, if there is any. Or dedicating your practice to somebody else or something else. Meet your palms together, letting the base of your thumb slightly lifting up your sternum, releasing your chin towards your chest, gently opening your eyes, focusing on one point on the fingertips or mat. Slowly bring your gaze forward. Extending your arms up to the side. Reach your right arm over the left. Either hug your shoulders or moving into eagle arm if you'd like to. Inhale, reach your fingers while elbows up, taking a slight back bend. And then exhale round, elbows towards your navel, rounding your back. Inhale, opening the front body into seated cow. 
And then exhale, round into seated cat. One more time, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to the center. Extending your arms up towards the sky. And turning your left palm, bending your left elbow. And reach your right hand towards the left elbow, guiding towards the midline gently. And then keep softening through your front ribs. Inhale, lengthening the spine. As you exhale, twisting to your right side. Keeping your left sit bone heavy, but reaching your left elbow up towards the sky. Inhale, come back to the center. And releasing your right hand down, lengthen the left side of your body. And walk your hands forward as far or as little as you'd like to reach. Releasing your head, heavy softening through your back. Slowly lifting your torso, reach your hands behind your hips, sending your sternum up towards the sky. Bring your head back to the center, switching your crossing legs if your legs are pressed. Extending your arms up to the side and left arm over the right. Again, to hug your shoulders or eagle arm. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, round, opening the back body. Inhale, opening the front. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, round. Inhale, back to the center. Extending your arms up. And turning your right palm, bending your right elbow. Left hand meets the right elbow, guiding towards the midline, softening through your front ribs. Inhale here. Exhale, twisting to your left side. Keeping your right sit bone grounded. Inhale, come back to the center. Releasing your left hand down, lengthen the right side of your body. Let's walk the hands forward as far as little as you'd like to reach. Releasing your head, heavy softening through your back. Slowly lifting your torso. Then reach your hands behind your hips, sending your sternum up towards the side. Bring your head back to the center, moving into the downward facing up. Take your time, pedal your feet, opening the back of your legs. As you inhale, raising your heels. Softening your knees, look towards your hands. And slowly walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Moving into forward fold, Uttanasana. You might want to keep your knees soft or maybe reach for your elbows. Swing your torso side to side or gently shaking your head, yes or no. Releasing your hands down towards the mat. 
softening your knees. Slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Coming up to standing Tadasana. Mountain pose. Letting your energy moving into your feet. Letting your energy moving through your legs, through your hips, through the spine towards the crown of the head. And lifting your energy up towards the sky at the same time, grounding your energy down to the earth. And here reach your arms up. And then interlace the same thing as I'm going to face towards you, but you don't have to. Interlace them fingers and then pointing the index fingers up. And then inhale, finding the link. As you exhale, reach up to the right side. Keep your feet grounded. Inhale, come back to the center. And then reach up to the left side. Inhale, come back to the center, releasing your hands, taking a slight back bend. Exhale, hinging from your hip joints, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening the spine, flat back. Softening your knees, stepping your left leg back into lunge. Release your left knee down, and tuck your toes, you might want to protect your left knee. Lifting your arms up, moving into Anjani Asana, low lunge. Keep hugging your knee going, relaxing through your shoulders, taking a slight back bend. Releasing your hands down to the floor, stepping back into downward facing dog. You might want to walk your feet closer together. If it uh, feels comfortable. Raising your heels onto your inhale. As you exhale, send your hips to your right, knees to your left. So your pelvis, uh, right shoulder, and your right hip is coming kind of going closer together, but still pressing your hips back. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to your left side. So your left shoulder and the left hip moving closer together. Inhale, come back to the center. One more time. Exhale to your right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to your left. Inhale, come back to the center. Shifting forward to plank pose. Releasing your knees down as you exhale lower all the way down to the mat. And you're moving into baby cobra. Little one, no weight on your hands. Finding the length. Releasing your torso down, pressing through tabletop. Moving into downward facing dog. And you're raising your heels. And softening your knees and look forward. A step walk, float forward. And you're lengthening the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach arms all the way up. Okay, interlace them fingers in the opposite grip. I'm going to face you. You don't have to. Inhale, finding the length. Exhale, reach out to the left side. Keeping your right foot heavy. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to your right side. Left foot is heavy. Inhale, come back to the center, releasing your fingers, taking a slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthening the spine, flat back. Softening your knees, step your right leg back into lunge. Releasing your right knee down, protecting your right knee, lifting your arms up into low lunge. Anjani Asana, 
Keep hugging your navel, relaxing through your shoulders. Finding the length. Releasing your hands down to the floor, stepping back into downward facing dog. Again, you might want to walk your feet closer. Inhale, raising your heels. As you exhale, send your hips to your left side, knees to your right. And then either coming straight back or if you would like to add a little plank here. And then exhale, send your hips to the right, knees to your left. Inhale, back to the center of a plank. One more time, exhale, hips to your left. Inhale, center or plank. And then reach your hips to the right, knees to your left. No, it might be opposite, I'm saying the wrong side. And then shifting forward to plank. And if you're ready through Chakaranga, move through Chakaranga, otherwise lower your knees, lower as you exhale. Inhale, moving into any back bends. And then exhale, moving into downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release out. Inhale. Sighing out or flutter your lips. Taking a five more breath cycles here in down dog. Or lowering your knees down into child's pose. Once you feel ready, coming back into downward facing the dog. If you'd like to modify, I'm showing the modification version. So moving into tabletop. Inhale, raising your right leg back and up, squaring your hips to the floor. You can stay in down dog with this. Exhale, knee to your nose, shoulders are over your wrist. Inhale, pressing back. Your right leg back. Exhale to your right armpit. Inhale, press back. Exhale to your left armpit. Keep twisting, moving into fallen triangle. So if you are taking a modification version, you're going to switch your legs, extending your left leg back. Or if you're taking a modification, if you'd like to extend your lower leg out, you can. Releasing your left hand down, swing your right foot back and up into a down dog split, opening your hips, bending your knee. If your knee is on the floor, switch your leg. And swing, <laughs> square your pelvis. Step your right foot forward into lunge. Lower your left knee down and tuck your toes. And you can use the props if you have your props. Inhale, reach your right forward, opening the front body. And exhale, hips back, opening the back of your right leg. Inhale, bending your right knee, reach your heart forward. Feeling the stretch through the left hip. Exhale, hips back, opening the back of your right leg. One more time, inhale, reach forward, opening the front. And then exhale, hips back. Inhale, reach forward. 
This time lift your torso. If you would like to, you can reach your hands behind your hips. Interlace them fingers. And then lifting your heart up towards the sky. If you feel a lot of compression on your lower back, hug your navel to protect your lower back. And then bring your torso back to the center. If you feel comfortable keeping your arms as this, you can keep your arms as this. If you need to, please release your hands down. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, stepping forward into chair pose. Again, totally release your hands if you need to. So you're still pressing your fist down, lifting your heart forward. And then releasing your hands up towards the sky, press through your feet, coming up to stand. And then from here, hugging everything towards the midline, lifting your heels up, coming on your tippy toes. Inhale, lengthening the spine. As you exhale, reach your fingers forward. If you need to release your heels, please do. And then reach your torso forward and keep swinging your arms back as you reach your heart forward. What if you're taking a ski jump here? So your sternum reaching forward, fingertips back. And softening your knees. Step your left leg back into warrior two. Inhale, reversing your warrior. And let's move into side angle of your choice. You can take a supported variation, releasing your right arm to your right thigh. And lengthening your right sit bone down towards your left big, big toe and spiraling your heart. But if you're extending your left arm, spiraling your arm bit towards your center. If you'd like to, you can take a bind with your left arm. And then grounding through your feet, inhale, reversing your warrior. Exhale, releasing your hands down to the floor. Swing your right foot back and up into down dog split. Opening your hips, bending your knee. And then from here, release your right foot behind you, lifting your hips up, moving into a wild thing. And then slowly release your hips straight down. So from wild thing, you're going to face back towards the back of your mat. From here, if you feel comfortable, you're going to press through your right foot. So wing your left foot back into warrior three. So your left leg is in on the back. And you can bring your palms together or you can bring your hands to your pelvis. Inhale here. As you exhale, lift your torso, swing your left foot forward. You can bend your left knee if you need to. Inhale, swing your left foot back into warrior three. And then exhale, lift your torso, swing your left foot forward. One more time. Inhale, swing it back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, swing your left foot. Softening your right knee, step your left foot back. Not too far and straighten both legs. So you're creating the triangle shape with your legs. You might need to come up a little bit higher with the props if you need to. Inhale, finding the length, hug your right hip back and up. And releasing your torso forward. Inhale, finding the length. 
And softening your right knee, lower the left knee down to the floor. This one definitely protects your left knee if you need to. And then lifting your arms up into lunge. If you'd like to, you can bring your hands to your thigh and then bending your left knee. If that's available, you might want to reach for your left foot. Again, if that's available. Or you can keep your right arm over your right leg. Or extending up, a lot of variation. You can choose what's feeling great at this moment. And then slowly release your hands, left foot down, stepping back into plank, moving through your choice of flow. Or skip your flow, I should show the modify. And eventually moving into downward facing dog, no rush. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release out. Inhale, raising your right leg back and up. And you're going to step to the halfway. And then turn your right toes to the right side. And then bring your left foot closer to your right foot. So you're crossing your legs. And then reach your right um, two fist finger, grabbing the right big toe. Left hand to your left hip. Coming up to stand. You can come up to stand first to reach for your right foot if you need to. And you can, if you're ready, extend your right foot forward. Maybe opening up to the side. Maybe extend your left hand up and over. Gazing towards your left thumb. Finding your breath. And then use this, you can do bend your right knee if you need to. And then slowly bring your right leg back. We are going to swing your right foot back and up and then reach your hands down moving into standing split. And if you happen to have the wall behind you, you can use the wall or any you know, couch, bed, chair, stable, whatever, if you want to use. And then from here, softening your left knee, reach your right leg back into IT band stretch here. So your feet are facing to the left side. And if you roll on the outer feet, you feel a bit, bit stretch on your left leg. And then slowly release your hips down to the floor. Now face to the back, bending both knees, reach hands, both hands behind your hips. And your fingers are pointing towards your heels. And pressing up into upside down tabletop. And slowly release your hips down on the floor, moving it into Navasana, both pose. And then inhale here. As you exhale, swing your right arm back, opening up to the right side. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, swing your left arm back, twist to your left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, open to the right side. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, open to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Beautiful. And then from here, moving through your choice of flow, skip your flow, or simply step back into down dog. You can add 
your flow of your choice. Inhale deep. Exhale, release out. into a child's pose, softening your breath. Once you feel ready, coming back into the downward facing the dog or tabletop if you're modifying, which I'm showing the modification version lately. Inhale, raising your left leg back in. Exhale, knee to your nose, push the floor away. Inhale, pressing back. Exhale to your left armpit. Inhale, pressing back to your right armpit. Keep twisting, moving into fallen triangle. Again, switching your legs if you're modifying. You can extend your left leg out if you'd like to. Releasing your right hand down, swing your left foot back it up into down dog split opening your hips bending your knee and swing your hips back to the center left foot forward into a lunge again you can come up with the props if you need to inhale reach your heart forward opening the right hip and exhale hips back Opening the back of your left leg. Inhale, reach forward. Opening the front body. And exhale, hips back. Opening the back. One more time. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, come back to the front, extending your arms up. Or you can reach your hands behind your hips into lace and fingers in the opposite grip. And then from here, tuck your left, right toes, moving into chair pose, Utkatasana. Keep sending your hands back. And then you might want to pull your hands a little bit up so you can find more openness through the front of your shoulders. And pressing through your feet, lifting your torso up, extending your arms up. And then hugging everything towards the midline, lifting your heels up. And inhale, finding the length. As you exhale, reach your arms forward. And then keep reaching your torso forward, but swing your arms backwards. And softening your knees, step your right leg back into warrior two. Inhale, reversing your warrior. Moving into side angle of your choice. Again, taking a supported variation. If you'd like to take a bind, take a bind. But lengthening your left sit bone down towards your right big toe. Spiraling your heart up towards the sky, but your right armpit. In, if you're extending your right arm. And 
Pressing through your feet in here, reversing your warrior. Releasing your hands down to the floor. Swing your left foot back and up into down dog split. Opening your hips, bending your knee. And moving into wild thing, release your left foot behind you. Lifting your hips up. And then slowly release your hips down to the floor. Now you're going to press through your left foot, right foot back, moving into warrior three. And you can lift your torso while keeping your hands down if you need to. Either bring your palms together or hands to your hips. Inhale here. Exhale, swing your right foot forward, coming up to stand. Again, you can bend your right knee if you need to. Inhale, swing it back. Exhale, swing it forward. One more time, inhale, swing it back. And then exhale forward. Inhale, swing it back. Softening your left knee, stepping back, not too far. Into Parasavottanasana, pyramid pose. Inhale, finding the length in your spine, and then hug your left hip back and up towards the sky. Releasing your torso forward. Sending your breath into any sensations that you're feeling. Inhale, lengthening the spine, softening your left knee, lower the right knee down to the floor. And then lifting your arms up. Option to bring your hands to your thigh. And you can bend your right knee if you'd like to. Maybe hold for, hold your right foot. Or you can bring your left arm over the left knee. I'm not gonna take this side because my this knee is not happy. And if you're holding the left, right foot, you might want to push the right foot a little bit back. And slowly releasing your right foot down, hands down to the floor, step back, moving through your choice of flow, skip your flow. We're meeting down with the facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release out. Inhale, raising your left leg back in. And step into the middle way, midway. And then turn your feet to the left. Step your right foot closer to your left. And in this time, two left, two piece finger, grabbing the left big toe, right hand to the pelvis, coming up to stand. And you can hug your left knee if you prefer to. Maybe extending your left foot forward. And then opening up to the side or you can keep your knee bent. Maybe extend your right arm up and over. Gaze towards your right thumb. In which, any variations, that feels great. Then slowly bring your left leg back to the center and then swing your left foot back 
and up, moving into standing split. Hands down to the floor, lifting your leg and try your best to square your pelvis. And it's nice to open the hips. And then from here, send your left leg behind your right leg, moving into IT band stretch. Maybe rolling onto the outer right foot. And then slowly release your hips down to the floor, face to the front. And an option to moving into upside down tabletop, or if you want to go a little bit, a little challenge, moving into upside down plank. And then slowly release your hips down. Moving into Navasana boat pose. And again, inhale here, adding a twist. Exhale, twist to your left side. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, open to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale to your left. Inhale, center. Nice work, everyone. Exhale to your right. We're going to do two more sets. Inhale. Take a rest if you need to. Exhale to the right, left. Inhale, center. To your right. Inhale, center. One last one. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to your right. Beautiful. And come back to the center. And moving through your choice of flow, skip your flow, we'll meeting down with a facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release out. Inhale. Taking a lion breath. Lowering your knees down into child's pose. Softening your breath. Beautiful work, everyone. And then let's slide the torso forward, moving on your belly. Moving into Shavasana. So hugging your inner thighs towards each other, big toes to touch. Inhale, lifting everything up. Keep finding the length, reach your toes back, crown of the head away from your toes. And then slowly release one knee to the mat. Taking one more set. In the second set of Shantabhasana, you can take any arm variations. Or the Narasana, if you're ready. Or the Narasana, bend your knees, hold your feet. Chin off our head to the mat. And inhale, lifting up. And 
And slowly release the other ear to the mat. You can let your hips move in gently side to side. Then bring your hands by your ribcage, pressing the back into a child's box. Then moving into down with the facing dog. Don't worry, we're not going to fall anymore. Inhale, raising your right leg back and up. And stepping forward into lunge. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, hips back, moving into Ardha Hanumanasana, half monkey pose. So your pelvis is over your left knee. Your right leg is long. And here, if you feel comfortable, you're going to slide your heel forward as far as you can go with the out, turning your hips out to the side. So keep, try your best to keep your pelvis facing forward and then reach your right heel forward as far as it goes. So you might be here, you might be staying. Over the left knee. And if you cannot all the way go down to the floor, I'm going to switch the so leg to show you. Um, and if you have a prop, you can also support your right hip with the prop if you cannot go all the way down. And you can also extend your arms up towards the sky. And then maybe interlace the fingers, pointing the index fingers up. So it's a full Hanuman, Hanumanasana, flying monkey pose. And releasing your hands down if your arms are up. Tuck your left leg, swing your right foot back and up into the down dog split. Opening your hips, bending your knee. If you would like to move it into wild thing, feel free to take a wild thing. Just opening up. And then coming back into downward facing dog. Let's switch the leg. Raising your left leg back and up. And step forward into lunge. Releasing your right knee. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, hips back over the right knee. Again, option to stay here. Or slide your left foot forward. Okay, anywhere you feel comfortable. And if you feel stable, you can extend your arms up into the stem fingers in the opposite grip, pointing the index fingers. Softening your breath. And 
And releasing your hands down, tuck your right toes. Swing your left foot back and up into down dog split. Opening your hips, bending your knee. And maybe moving into a wide thing. Releasing your hands down. Shifting forward into plank pose. And then lower your torso down on the mat. You can lower your knees to lower or through chaturanga. And then lower all the way down. And let's move it on our backs. Facing up towards the sky. I'm going to do the same side as you do. So you're going to bend your right knee, right ankle over the left thigh. And then grounding through your left foot, if you'd like to, lifting your hips up. If you prefer to go into regular bridge, bridge pose, you can take both feet on the floor or we'll bridge with the pigeon. Letting the back outer right thigh, releasing it down and try to keep your pelvis square to the ceiling. Slowly release your hips down to the floor. Switching your legs. Sending your left ankle over the right thigh. Or keeping both down. And press through your right foot lifting your pelvis up. And then try to keep your pelvis up. You don't want to drop the left hip down. And slowly release your hips down, releasing the left leg. And we're going to take one more set. So if either moving into regular bridge pose, if you'd like to press up into wheel, you can move into wheel. Taking any variations. Or you might want to simply rest. When you're ready, slowly release down one vertebrae at a time. Move into a constructive rest, feet wider, knees together. Allowing your lower back to open. And breathing into your lower back. And then releasing your, separate your knees and let your knees fall to the left side. You can open your arms to the T-shape. If you'd like to, you can have your left foot over the right thigh. And if you have your left foot over the right thigh, release your left foot back to the center. And then knees to your right side. Thinking you can send your right foot over your left thigh.
Releasing your right foot, come back to the center. And taking a few more breath cycles, moving into anything that your body is asking for. You might want to move into happy baby pose, shoulder stands, any arm balancing. Or if you'd like to add a little bit more hip opening, you can bring your feet together, opening it wide into Supta Bharakonasana. Eventually, moving into your choice of a Shavasana, no rush to get there. If your lower back is not happy at this moment, you might want to stay in your constructive rest. Or taking the traditional Shavasana, extending everything out. Allowing everything to becoming softer and quieter. Allowing yourself to do nothing at this moment. Slowly deepening your breath. Bring your awareness back in your body. Creating small movements. Maybe extending your arms over your head, taking a whole body stretch. And 
Slowly bending your knees, rolling onto one side. When you're ready, slowly lifting your torso. If you prefer to stay on your back, you're welcome to do so. Letting your six bones grounding down to the earth. Lifting your energy up towards the sky. Gathering your palms together. If you'd like to join me for one now, exhaling away by you. Inhale deeply. Oh. 